My name is Lawrence, Lawrence Maria Moser, Lawrence the fifth, and I produce Austrian Gruner Bettlina. Excellent. Um, so your top Gruner sells for about fifteen pounds a bottle. Um, do you think it's hard to compete uh, in the market in that price category for a white wine? Well, uh, yes and no. I think uh, as we are the only ones from Austria to do just Gruner Bettlina, and uh, we, we compete with, with world wines. It's, it's not a real problem because our, our production is relatively small and uh, we concentrate on 40 key markets around the world and that covers our production and, and that's no problem for us. Okay. Um, do you not find it limiting just to make wine from one grape? Um, no, not at all because uh, one of my mentors was Robert Mudavi and he told me uh, do fewer things in life but do them extremely well. And in this regard, we, it was very, very easy when we started the project five years ago to concentrate on the single grape, and this is going to make or break us, but so far it's a very, very good success. Okay. Um, do you think Green and Beltland will ever be recognized as one of the great whites of the world? That's, that's our mission, by the way. Uh, Lawrence Five. His mission is to, to help to create Gruner or to build Gruner into something which is in the same league as a, a nice Riesling or a Chardonnay or, or a Pinot Grigio from, from all these nice countries. And we also want to put Austria on the map. And we selected Gruner because 30% of the acreage in Austria is Gruner. And that's our justification to go for that. Okay. And um, your wines are called uh, quite feminine things like charming, friendly, and sunny. Um, are you marketing them at women? Uh, yes and no. Again, uh, when you think that 70% of all purchase decisions are are taken by ladies when it comes to wine, that way. then uh, it's relatively simple that you, you, you target your, your effort towards, towards ladies as well. And um, um, yeah, that's what it is basically. So it's mainly ladies who are buying your wine? Yes. Yeah. But on the other hand, we know also from, from markets research in, in our main markets in the US, in Austria, in Germany, in Switzerland, in Japan, that it's, uh, it's also made for, for men. It's not just a, a ladies' drink. It's, it's something which appeals also to the male element of the market. But again, 70% of our customers are ladies. Okay. And finally, do you have any new projects or plans on the go? No, uh, what we have to do this year, what we want to do is to solidify our distribution because Austria had two vintages in a row which are far below the average, so we don't have too much wine to sell. So what we would like to do is no, no silly promotions or nothing to be quite frank, but to make sure that our wines are only found in the best suitable places. Flagship stores like Heron's Academy in Germany, uh, Watson's in, 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 in Hong Kong, uh, on the Ginza as well, and then also um, lighthouses like Nobu here in, in London, or the Hotel Saka in Vienna. That's the goal of this year in particular. Excellent. Thank you very much. Thanks.